Hello there and welcome to Lower Six Further Maths Level. This is the core practice paper with questions from June 2016. Here we're working on a vectors question. We have two equations of planes, one in Cartesian form, one in vector form. Uh, find a Cartesian equation for pi 2. Okay, so what we're going to do first, I think it would probably look a bit better, is if we put the second uh, equation of a plane into column vectors. We can a bit clearly, a bit more clearly see what's going on here. Now, what we've got here is um, what we can create to get this Cartesian form for pi two is three equations using the variables for x, y, and z down the bottom. So, if you think about it, the x coordinate that's on this plane is calculated by doing one plus one lambda plus 2 mu. The y variable on this plane is calculated by 2 plus 4 lambda minus mu. And the z variable on this plane is calculated by doing 1 plus 3 lambda uh, plus mu. Okay. So what I think I'll do first is we have to make one of these uh, lambdas or mu's the subject and substitute it into the other formula. What we're looking to do here in total is not to solve these simultaneous equations because we've effectively got too many letters, but just eliminate lambda and mu from the equations. So we've just got an equation with x, y's and z's in like we do for pi 1. So on the first equation, I think I'll make lambda the subject. So it's going to be x minus 1 minus 2 mu. So in the second equation I'm going to get y equals 2 plus uh, 4 times lambda, so it's 4 lots of all of this, 4x minus 4 minus 8, lamb, 8 mu, sorry, and take away another mu. And on this third equation here it's going to be z equals 1 plus, now this is 3 lambda, so 3x minus 3, minus 6 mu, and plus another mu. Okay, so let's simplify these equations down here. So we've got a bit more space, so it's going to be minus 2 plus 4x minus 9 mu. And on the second one, it's going to be z equals minus 2 plus 3x um, minus 5 mu. Okay, so what we have to do now is eliminate this mu variable. So I think what I'll do is I'll times the top equation by 5 and the bottom equation by 9, and then we can eliminate them by subtracting one equation from another. So we're going to get 5y equals minus 10 plus 20x minus 45 mu. And on the second equation here we're going to get 9z <coughs> equals minus 18 plus 27x um, and minus 45 mu. Now what we're going to do here is subtract one equation from another. <coughs> now you can see here we've got two minus 45 mu's now effectively what you're going to do here is minus 45 mu, take away minus 45 mu, and when you take away a negative you're effectively adding it on. So this is kind of like minus 45 mu add 45 mu, which will cancel each other out. But I'm subtracting in my columns here, so I'm going to get 5y minus 9z equals 8 minus 7x and zero on the final column there. So we're nearly there, all we need to do is add 7x onto the other side and we're going to get 7x plus 5y minus 9z equals 8. <clears throat> okay, so that's the final answer for part A. This is the Cartesian equation from, uh, from this pi 2 here. Okay, part B asks us to show that pi 1 and pi 2 are perpendicular. Well, let's just draw a little diagram to show what will happen if pi 1 and pi 2 are perpendicular. They'll meet at a right angle like this. So if this is pi 1, 
this one here is pi 2, then what we can do instead is if we show that these perpendicular vectors, these n vectors are perpendicular, then these two must also meet at a right angle. So for pi 1, the vector of the uh, perpendicular is 1 minus 5 minus 2. And that's come straight from these coefficients here. n here is equal to 1 minus 5 minus 2. And for the pi 2 <coughs> uh, n vector, we're going to get 7, 5, and minus 9. Okay, so what we need to do to show that these two, ve two vectors are perpendicular, their dot product must equal 0. So 1 minus 5 minus 2 dotted with five, 7, 5 minus 9 equals, now fingers crossed here, 7 minus 25 add 18. And phew, okay, we do get 0. Perfect, right, so I'd write just a little sentence just to confirm this, just to make sure I've got all the marks here. As the perpendicular vectors of each plane Our perpendicular, our perpendicular uh, so must the planes. Ooh, we're in that space. So must the planes. Okay, so that's six marks for that question. Thanks for watching.